everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel once again this is me your guessy concept thank you for tuning in and i hope you guys are doing great i want to say a massive thank you for your love and support over this channel god bless you all and if you are new here you are joining us newly you are highly welcome but kindly do me a massive favor by pressing the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell for new updates so today without too much talk we shall be making this uh, trending and stylish uh, standing pole sleeve on your screen it's going to be an interesting one and if you want to see the end result don't change the dye sit back and wash the hand measurements i'll be working with this piece of fabric this is a cotton fabric and this is satin so i'll be using this a uh, cotton to line this a uh, satin which is the also main. i'll be using this interfacing this is woven interfacing i don't know if you can see me very well so those are the materials i'll be working with and the basic measurement needed for this tutorial are the round sleeve the puff which is going to be on the cap of the sleeve itself the length of the sleeve and the allowance so those are the basic measurement needed so let's proceed now and place our measurements so i've placed my fabric on fold like you all know when you are cutting your sleeve you divide it by two you don't divide it by four okay so i'll be placing the measurements on the lining first then when i'm done i'll be used to cut the main sleeve so for this tutorial if you look closely this particular puff as you can see on your screen is not fitted right so for this tutorial i will be adding two and a half okay so the length of my sleeve for this tutorial is 13 inches 13 inches plus two and a half that will be 15 and a half plus one inch allowance on the hem part that makes it a 16 and a half so all together here i have a 16 and a half so what i'll do first i'll place two and a half here i'll mark it out then i'll connect it together so from these two inches i will go down by four and a half for my cap height okay i've made a video several times and i've mentioned it how you can get my your cap height is four and a half plus half an inch to join it to the upper parts that makes it five inches because we are placing the vertical measurement now and remember whenever you are placing your vertical measurement always add half an inch so that makes it five inches so from this cap height this will now be the bicep bicep is the largest part of our round sleeve okay that is this part is the biggest part of our round sleeve okay on this line we are to place arm o circumference but because this particular sleeve when you place your arm o circumference here it will bring out the normal shape of this uh, particular sleeve so i will place my round sleeve which is on this down part i will place the whole round sleeve i'll place it here okay so my round sleeve for this tutorial is 15 inches this is it plus one inch for allowance making 16 inches here whatever i have here i'll place it on this cap height or my bicep now 16 inches then i'll connect it together right so the midpoint of these 16 inches will be 8 inches this is it so from where this 8 inches is i'll go up by 2 inches this is it same thing on these damp parts so the midpoint for this damp part which is the round sleeve will be 8 inches but i will not place 8 inches because I'll be turning the main sleeve with lining so i will reduce the eight inches by 
half an inch. So that would be seven and a half. So from this folded edge, I will go in by seven and a half. Let's leave that. Now we are to cover out our arm O from this upper part to these parts. And I will take it like so. This is the two and take it down. You see? So that is it. Right. So for this damp part, because this is where the, the style of this sleeve is going to come out. So all you have to do here is on this line, on this very line, you go down by two inches. Two inches. This is it. Then you curve it. You curve it to these parts. You can take it like this or you take it like this. Either way. Okay? So, let's go. That's it. I'll go ahead now and cut it out. Then we'll proceed to the next step. Then after cutting this part, you can go ahead and rhyme up this uh, edge. Give it a notch. I will set the main sleeve aside now and fold the main lining again and make sure everything is equal. Okay, then I will take my interfacing. This interfacing will make the upper part to stand very well, as you can see it's on your screen. Okay, so look at it very hard. You see, very hard. I'll place it like so, exactly on the line where we mark our cap height. Okay, you see now, exactly on the line. Okay, I will trace it out now from this upper part. I will trace out the shape. So you stop exactly where we marked the two inches that went up in the middle. Okay, you stop there. Or you can extend it. Let's extend it a bit. So you notch it center. So after cutting it, you spread out the lining. So regarding this uh, lining, whatever you want to add to your sleeve, you add it to your lining, okay? Don't add it to the main sleeve. You add it to the main sleeve, it will look funny. Okay, so if you have your interfacing lightweight, you can apply it to it. This will give the main sleeve weight. Okay, right. But for this tutorial, I will not be doing that. I will only add this one on the upper parts. So you turn it to the where we mark the chalk. The sticky parts, which is the shiny parts, you place it on the marked area, center to center, like this. Then you secure it with your pins. Right, after done placing the pins, I'll go ahead and uh, stitch it round one quarter of an inch for ironing it. Let's go. Center to center, make sure they both align very well, most especially this center. 
make sure they align very well because that is where the shape is going to come in after pinning it this center for the new base it might be tricky so all you have to do you take your pen and a ruler you trace it okay you trace it out make sure you trace out v shape okay you trace out v shape because when you get this part wrong that's the head so like this is triangle okay but when you turn it this way it forms a v shape okay so that's what i mean you use your pen you trace it out so when you are stitching you stitch on the pen then when you get to this part you just take it half an inch half an inch okay so let's go and do that right away this is what i mean i don't know if you can see me very well that's it so with this you'll be able to stitch it without you know your hand wobbling okay first thing you release your needle on the edge of the angle center okay then you turn it you take one side first slow and steady you bust stitch it but be careful so this part you take it you notch you see don't cut through the same line okay just a little bit after notching it, you turn it inside out. At this point, you can go ahead and top stitch, but if you don't want, you can leave it. So, but for me, I will top stitch. And while top stitching, the side seam should go to the lining side. Good press. This is how it's looking now. Well laid. This is the inside. The next step is to stitch up this upper part, which is the arm O. Okay. So this will help the fabric to relax while placing your gathers. Okay. So let's do that. <laughs> stitching it this is how it's looking now everything is intact now so go ahead and uh, place the gathers so to place the gathers now all you have to do here is to measure out your round arm o that is arm o circumference okay whatever you get for instance mine is 23 23 divided by 2 that will be 11 and a half okay plus one inch allowance i mean for the blouse making a 12 and a half so from this part i'll measure out 12 and a half and i will take it like this okay i'll take it i don't know if you can see me 12 and a half this is where 12 and a half store okay so this part same thing you measure it you take it 12 and a half you measure it 12 and a half stops here so this part 
to this part will be your goddess okay now i'll go ahead now and start placing my goddess since i know where the goddess is going to stop okay so this part will be we go into your blouse and all okay why this part will remain for the gathers so all you have to do you take it you can take it one inch from the from the mark point you take it you place it okay place it again you can make it half inch anyhow or one inch place it may i just place it half inch okay same thing i will take this side as well and place it until i get to that uh, line i will do it on the machine now you will see it take my size same allowance this is the look of our sleeve after stitching it <music> guys i want to say thank you for watching to the end this brings us to the end of today's tutorial and i hope the video has been helpful thank you so much don't forget to like it give it a thumbs up the more you like it the more you encourage me to do more okay share it with friends and family tell them about c concepts okay and if you're here to join this uh, beautiful family kindly press the red subscribe button down below don't forget to turn on your notification bell for new videos okay and if you have any question do let me know in the comment section below i love you all i will see you soon in my next video bye